Hello, welcome. Try this problem out. You might even get some graph paper and sketch it out. Uh, but give it a shot and then press play and we'll solve it together. They want to know uh, which inequality is represented by this graph. So let's look at some of the features of this graph. We've got a line and this line is filled in. So that means in terms of inequalities, as you can see in all the choices, it's not just greater than or less than, but greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. If it was a dotted line, then you would just see greater than or less than because it would not include values on the line. I also noticed that we're shading above the line. So the, it's all the heights above the line, right? And although the shading's at an angle, so maybe you're like, what do you mean above? Sean, it's, it's to the right of it. The idea is that if you pick any particular point, let's look at the y-intercept here. I noticed that the, the intercept, the b value is zero comma four. The graph, if you look above the line at that x value, we see everything above it is shaded in. So it's really all the values above each corresponding x. So for example, if I pick this x right here, this is the point one, one, I notice that everything above it is shaded in, right? So it's all of the, the y's above and equal to the line. We could shade straight up and down, but I think the tradition is to, to shade at an angle to the line because it gets to be, be more helpful when you have multiple graphs set up. Uh, the last thing we need to figure out is the slope. I notice the slope's negative, right? As x increases, y decreases. Specifically, what's the slope? I don't know. As x goes up by one, as our, as our run goes up by one, the rise goes down by three. And slope m is rise divided by run. So our slope's negative three. So let's put these pieces together. b is four, the slope is negative three and we're shading above. That leads us to choice number one, because the number next to x is our slope, negative three. The constant all by itself is the intercept four, and y is everything larger than or equal to negative three x plus four. All right, hope this helped.